Welcome to Simply Quilts. Would you make a quilt with taffeta and velvet, or would you dare to quilt with metallic thread? Loretta Alvarado does, and her techniques result in some fantastic pieces. In 1978, Loretta Alvarado made her first quilt as a baby gift for a friend, and her life was changed forever. I've never taken a class in quilting in my life. In fact, I taught myself how to sew. At the time, I thought, I can do this, it's so easy, and not knowing that there's all these other little details that you need to learn in order to sew properly. Loretta learned all those little details and then threw them out the window. She refused to limit herself to traditional quilting rules. My style is non-traditional. I'm doing my own designs. I use a lot of different fabrics in my quilts. I don't just use 100% cotton fabrics like you would in a traditional quilt. I like to use whatever fabrics are necessary to make the finished product whatever it needs to be. Loretta's fanciful wall hanging, The Guardian, incorporates satins, silks, lames, and even velveteen. She used metallic thread to accentuate her design. The dragon, all the green part of the dragon, is stippled as well with kind of a green color metallic thread. His wings, a lot of his facial features, a lot of the little detail parts are all done with metallic threads. Loretta continues her use of thread in Remembrances of Monterey Quilt, where she uses a technique she calls thread painting. All the white water is done with thread painting. There's some white fabric underneath to give a little bit more heavier of a white look, but there's a lot of thread on there as well to soften it up and to add more texture and add more dimension. And it's all done with free motion work. There's white rayon thread that's been stitched in to give all the detail of the, the waves actually breaking on the beach and then the white caps further back in the ocean. The inspiration for this piece was close to Loretta's heart. The Monterey quilt was taken from a photograph that my father took about 40 years ago up in Monterey where I was born. And I looked at it one day and I thought, I could make a quilt out of this. Combining applique and thread painting, Loretta stitched out a work of art that has brought her some surprising feedback. This woman came up to my booth and she stared at it. She stood back about 10 feet away from the piece, then she got up really close and then she stood back away. She looked at me and she asked, what kind of brush strokes did you use? And that was definitely the best compliment. She was convinced it was a painting. The whimsical Garibaldi and Kelp adds another dimension to Loretta's art. It's a three-dimensional piece almost because the leaves are coming off of the quilt. The fish themselves I actually made as little stuffed animals and tacked them onto the quilt so it looks like they're coming out of the piece. To get the ocean floor, I patchworked a bunch of different fabrics together and put the darning foot on the sewing machine, put the feed dogs down, and then started sewing in circles. And I also put the tension up quite high so that it would purposely pucker the fabric. This piece has quite a bit of metallic thread in it. The leaves have metallic thread, the background of the water, it's actually a, a taffeta fabric to get a little bit of shimmer to it, but then I also added some more metallic fabric just to get a little bit of movement and a little bit more sparkle. Looking at the detail in her design work, it's easy to believe that Loretta was trained as an engineer. It's also easy to see how much she loves what she does. Oh, it's very enjoyable for me. This, this is a whole different world for me. It's so different from when I was an engineer. It's just opened up my life so much, and I, I could never go back to a regular job ever again. In an effort to keep her work fresh, Loretta assigns herself an annual theme for her pieces. Her themes have included dragons and music, among others. 